All right. Hey guys. Hello. It's Alexis. I'm Christina. And we are. Ooh, Peter Bad. Peter Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. It has, cause Easter happened, and you were home. I was. And then... I just got back. There was like an Earth Day festival. Well, first of all, I had to do an essay, which turned out to not even be an essay. So I was freaking out over nothing. But I finished my assignment and then there was like an Earth Day celebration on campus. So I went to that, which is a waste because it turned out to be mostly for kids. And I was like, dang, why don't I get to ride the horses? But like they were ponies and they couldn't take over like 100 pounds. I was like, that's definitely not for me. <laughs> <laughs> but but I got... Um, free honey like natural like straight from the bees no processing it was really good we played ping pong I had some dinner I sat outside but now I stink <laughs> I have to go back outside later but it's good I'm all good <laughs> I've gotten a lot of exercise today it's been forever I don't exercise so, what did you do today? Or what have you done? Oh, um, today, well, speaking of exercise, I actually was working out like a couple, couple of, uh, about 20 minutes ago, I finished a workout. I've been like, my mom got this really cool, like indoor bike thing. So I've been like riding the bike. Oh yeah, my mom has one of those. Yeah, it's really, it's really kind of, it kind of works, like, in a way, like, it's, it's, it really gets the heart pumping, and it, it makes you sweat, but now I feel like a hot tamale, I literally feel like one, I am literally, <laughs> I'm, like, drinking water periodically right now, because I feel like my whole body's on fire. Dude, yeah, it was 80 today, we didn't really have, like, a spring, it just kind of went from, like, 30s straight to, like, 70s and 80s. <laughs> It was 80 today out of nowhere. We were in like coats yesterday, but I've been, my water's been with me every day. My Pearl Aqua <laughs> Yeti water bottle. Surprisingly, my cup is also Pearl Aqua. Dude, I have one that looks like that at my house. I hate that that's a thing that we share. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like we both have a lot of her. Aren't both of our phones <laughs> Pearl Aqua too? They are. <laughs> Wow. Speaking of Pearl Aqua, so I've been trying to get back into learning Korean again after mm -hmm. having the longest hiatus I've ever had, which is like two years of, I've been on and off with that language, I swear. I started it and then I had this like peak where I'm like only doing that and not doing anything else. And then I like dwindle real quickly. I go, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't need this language for the rest of my life. Maybe I need like have a life for once. And then I just stop. And then I always hit grammar. Like when I hit grammar, I'm like, when the heck am I going to be able to conquer this? You know what? I'm at the point now where I've just said, at least if I learn some of it, I can watch K drama without subtitles. <laughs> that is my only goal now is to right. be like, hey, I can like kind of understand it. That's like kind of my goal. Be like lightly conversational. <laughs> That's good. It's a start. <laughs> and I feel like you'll subconsciously pick up a lot more just by watching anyway. Like maybe you won't realize it, but you'll start recognizing a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I already am, technically speaking. I mean, like I, I watch, I mean, I listen to the music all the time and I like watch it like a bunch. And I can say that like, I catch on to language a lot more than other languages that I've ever had because it's just like I consume the media so much. Yeah, that's, a good point. <laughs> that's definitely a good point, especially if it's like something that you like, it's definitely gonna stick. It's just like, damn, why is language so hard? No, literally. If I could just like, I always think about this. If I had three wishes, one of them would be the ability to speak. Like, I would just pick like, a couple languages that I could just be automatically fluent in. No work. <laughs> it's too much. You would pick 
Wait, wait, which language would you pick? Like, if you could pick like three that like, you don't already know. Oh, three? That's not fair. Because Spanish and English would have to be two of them. <laughs> Ooh, dang. <laughs> then never mind. Five. I'll give you five. Five. Because you already have two. French would be a third one, Korean, and then Japanese, probably. So two out of three, you're already, you're already learning. <laughs> hey, okay, ones that I'm not learning. Ones um, that you aren't learning. If I'm not learning, then I would pick probably Italian and honestly, probably like one of the Indian languages, like something that a lot of people speak. So like it's not common for people to like practice. I think that'd be cool. Maybe Arabic. And a third? Arabic? Yeah. Arabic is an interesting one because it's like, isn't it read backwards? Don't you like read it backwards? I think you're right. I'm actually um for my I need like I need a couple extra credits. So I'm taking an Arabic 101 class in the fall, so we'll see how that goes. Because I won't be taking anything else except for that, and then like the usual French, which I'm not concerned about. So. Yeah, and I'm trying to think right now what I was gonna say, but I totally forgot. I think I just went through like the absolute biggest blank. Um, yeah, Arabic is really interesting because it's like it's read backwards, mm-hmm. and. what I was gonna say never mind skip the statement let's move on <laughs> I might come back to me it might come back I don't know okay. when but it's probably gonna come back eventually I think we should talk about what we wanted to talk about last week but we didn't yes was... all right dice <clears throat> dice dice why don't, well, first of all, I would just like to say, the frick, you can't even see me. <laughs> there we go. First of all, In the Whale and I are married, just so everybody knows. In the Whale and I are married. No way. <laughs> Fine, then, then Yo will be and I are married. <laughs> um, Sunshine and me are also married. Dude. Love Phobia and I, we're dying together. <laughs> Me and Love Phobia <laughs> are <love> soulmates. <laughs> no way, you guys are faded. <laughs> <laughs> I love that whole album. Let's just like say it's that. So, it's so world. good. It's Sorry. a no skip. It's a no skip. <laughs> Like, it's the B tracks. Like, Dice is the bop of the century. Okay, now get me wrong. The B tracks. He really said, chat chat beat boy in this I household. Need a chat, chat, boy. <laughs> Honestly, if I had to do a ranking, I think On the Way would be my least favorite song. It's still good, though. It's like, it's like top top five, like on top of the entire discography of K-pop combined. So I think that's just fine. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the bottom of the top five, but it's like out of like a million that you do know. <laughs> it's like so good that I don't want to listen to anything else, if that makes sense. Like for the first like four days, I didn't listen to anything except for the album. And then I played like, excuse me an AT song and I felt so guilty (laughs) I was like and it didn't help that after the AT song a second one came on and then my app crashed like it didn't even want me to listen to anything else other than Dice so Dice Supremacy literally so good and the stages have been really good the outfits have been really good (sighs) on the way and the glasses Oh, dude, on the way with the glasses. Crazy. I'm, I'm, I, I, um, <clears throat> need a moment. <laughs> you both said the same thing. I said I need a moment. No, literally, though, 
crazy. Did you see the Yobi stage today? No, I haven't seen it. Send it to me later. I'll just do it now so I don't forget. Oh my gosh. Because I woke up this morning and I usually first thing, like I'll go to the bathroom with my glasses on and then I check my phone and I saw my Twitter notifications that said Yobi and I was like, what? But <laughs> what do you mean? I wasn't expecting him to promote like anything other than on the way. Just so in the will, he should do um, Love Phobia. He should do just the entire album. Like, please, just like I the whole album. I don't even need. I don't even need like a choreo. I just want to hear the live vocals. You know what I mean? Like, just just sing it. Just 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 yeah. sing it. Just, just give me a little performance. The fact that he didn't even do like a like a um an SM live, like he didn't even do like one of those concerts, small concert things, like I would have loved that. I know, dude, he I would have dropped small concert things. So much money on that. All that is required is on you and I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> Honestly, look at this. Using That's the exact photo card. card that I got. Like, literally, I was about to say, I was like, I really want your photo card because I love that photo card. And then as soon as I thought about it, I got it yesterday and I got the same photo That's card. That's so crazy. Yeah, I haven't, I couldn't find, like, space for the album because I had one of my Don't Call Me, like, jewel cases displayed. So I had to close it so I could stack it on top of that because my bookshelf is not really big on my desk. So it's okay, though. He's chilling. It's so small. It's so small. <laughs> it's so dinky. I, I didn't realize how small it was until I like held it in my hands. And I was like, this is like some paper. This is pure paper. Bro, I was like, this is worth like 10 bucks. <laughs> Probably less than that. Honestly, it's quality, bro. And I'm, I'm going to talk about this, but the photo book. Why couldn't it be like Suho's? Suho's was really sturdy. Like, I don't know if you saw Suho's, like, album photo book, but it's, like, a literal book, and yeah, it's, like, actual, built like, like a book. Yeah. Why couldn't Dice be yeah. like that? Honestly, they missed the opportunity to make what you said, which was, like, the board game, like, box. Was that you? Oh yes, yes, I said it. They missed the opportunity to do that. That would have been perfect. That would have been absolutely perfect. I would love, like, a little box thing. Um, something even if not even like a box, I would love something like Bad Love, where they had like the like a DVD. But in this case, it would be awesome as like a game board piece, game board thing. You can like open it from the top, so it isn't yeah. like a box. You pull you, up. You know, it would have been cool to go with a the theme, like an Uno card box. Like it would have been small, but that would have been so cool. Like collect, like to collect the little boxes. I'm just saying, it ties up so much potential. And they didn't, they could have done something like legit bad love. Bad love had like that awesome like toy thing. You would open it from like the plastic up. And then there was like the, 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 um, the VHS box, which we, VHS, we have, or I have. Yes. I have, yeah. And then there was the, um, just like the four different versions. They were so different and so special in their own special way. Why couldn't Dice be like that? Like, why is it they have to just do a digipack, which is everyone else is doing right now, by the way. They are. And in a photo book version, it looks like almost exactly at Atlantis. Like, it's like the big book that this is, is so really flimsy. It is a really big book. Uh, <sighs> I'm just I'm upset. They could have done so much more with the game board concept. I don't know. They could have done so much more with it. I appreciate, I appreciate the Uno cards, at least, but I feel like we should have gotten at least, like, one sticker. <laughs> we didn't get, like, anything in the digipad. The Uno card idea, though, the Uno card box idea would have been absolutely perfect. Dude, I would have right? loved, like, a box, like, album where I could pull it up or from the top, or, or, like, just, like, some game board pieces. Like, I would love if, the, like, they had little game board pieces you can like have but you can pull them out and they would have like it could be like you can play a monopoly but it'd be oh, audio yeah. or like theme to go with the music video or something that would have been so cool 
oh my god or like sorry like sorry pieces are so cheap like make like little sorry pieces oh why didn't they give us a dice why didn't they give us all <laughs> one universe why didn't they just give us a dice <laughs> exactly they could have put six pictures of jinky on that dice i would have owned that numbers dice. and called it a day they could have i would have only oh. used that dice for the rest of my life i'd be like hey <laughs> do you need a dice i got one right here you want a monopoly i got a monopoly dice right <laughs> here <laughs> like no literally bro that would have been incredible they could have done something with monopoly they could have done something like oh my god they could have someone like you know how the the the, the game board pieces of like um of life like the game of life like i would love if they had a little car and you can like put little things on it or or like oh i'm just can i please be sm can i be an sm designer like that's all i Dude, want i should have gone now. into marketing for this crap i should have gone into like graphic design or like something like oh, game, nice. game design or or like album design sorry i have a sm should have hired me on the spot i swear they literally should have. They're they just they don't know what the what the international fans are thinking. You know, we got big ideas. We could make our own one. <laughs> Let's get all the shot wolves and just make our own. Album. We literally, what are those called? Like the cry cuts or whatever those big machines where you can like print stuff. Yes. And like, dude, I'll get one <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I'll start I'll make it myself. We can buy like plain empty jewel cases, right? Just print our own pictures. Also, also, where the heck are the AR cards? Where the heck are they? Dude, that's like the only one. Is it? Is it because it's not a jewel case that it doesn't have an AR card? But they haven't been doing that for over a year now. Where are they? They made us download this app for nothing. <laughs> Dude, literally. I'm pissed. Like, Triggered. stop making digi packs. Stop making digi packs. Yeah, whose idea was that? They just and mine's like kind of bent. Oh, <laughs> it came down. <laughs> bent. Like it's it's like at an angle. Oh, like a trapezoid. It won't like straight. That thing is so flimsy. Dude, I didn't so... think about how flimsy it was. He's so silly, and it's so dangerous because if you just go like this, the CD is just gonna come out. I do really like the CD for this one. I like the color scheme. Yeah. I just think why they could have used cardboard. No, they absolutely they could have used something a little more sturdy for the G pack. You know what? Like it make been? something it like not this. paper. That was the peak, I tell you. Canvas. It should have been this exact kind of photo. It should have been that. It should have been, been, been that. For anyone who well, everyone can't see, we're talking about the press it album. A superior album in every. The only thing I don't like about Press It is that, like, the thing to hold the CD doesn't like hold it very well. But this kind of book is so oh. perfect. It's so perfect. Nothing beats the freaking canvas of Press It album. Dude. The canvas is the reason why I even bought K albums of hers anyway when I first started in K pop because of that canvas. It's so perfect. <laughs> Press it is like the most perfect album, bro. Like in every single way. Because even the material, it's not, I don't know what that's called. It kind of feels like corduroy, I guess. It just feels I think so it's fancy. canvas. It's like a canvas. You're right. Like fabric. It's just so fancy. And it's sturdy. It's perfect. When are they gonna start making sturdy albums again? She I feel like we were just getting paper on paper on paper recently, and like stuff that's gonna break. Dual cases suck. I'm gonna say it. Dual cases suck. We need the good shit back. We need that's the good true. shit. Yeah, stuff like she is and press it. These kinds of like, yeah, this is ideal. This is like size, shape, material. Super ideal. And okay, the only recent album that I've been saying that is good, almost as good as the as the as Taman's Canvas, is the Never Gonna Dance Again Dude, album. Yeah. One and two together. That packaging and one. is awesome. This is the most recent one that I've been saying is like the best 
one to buy. It's so good. It's very it's good. It's so good. And the photo album is big. The binding is enough. It's like, it's like good to the point where you it felt if you opened it the wrong way, it wouldn't rip through the whole page. Oh my God. I'm going to blame my Atlantis for the rest of my life. I hate Atlantis's like flimsiness. It's so scary to open. I haven't opened it since I bought it. I'm with you on that. Just SM is really like a hit or miss. It really depends. Um, Cause like our, our odd albums are really nice too, aren't they? No, that's the wrong album. Uh, is it the story of life? I I actually do like Story of Light. The like the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story of Light. Three. Yeah, I have the the epilogue. But it's not that bad because it's the same thing. Like there's a it's like a there's a spot. Yeah. You can sit in there comfortably. I haven't looked through this. Ooh. <laughs> anyway. This one it's kind of not that great though because when you try to force the CD in there, it, it, I don't know if you can see this, it like rips. Another one, okay, speaking of Odd, because Odd is actually the one I'm talking about right now that is actually one of the worst. Yeah. Because it's Dual Case, but it's worse than Dual Case, if that makes sense. Dual Case is already, like, you, if you drop it, you're done. Like, Dual Case is, if you drop it, you're done. But I hate the paper box. I hate it so much because when you take out everything out and you want to look through it, you have to put it all the way back in. You have to put it in the right way. And when you put it in the wrong way, it rips the sides and the spine is turned, it rips. It literally rips. One, that's like story OP2. It's that same thing. You got to like force everything into that tiny little side. Oh my God, it's so terrible. You know what kinds of albums I love? The freaking, the ones that have the, the magnet. Have you seen those? Like Dark and Wild where it's like. Oh, Dark and Wild was when K-pop was at its point where they yeah, didn't like care just, about costs of albums and they just made them anyway. Talk. I love it. It's so good. And then it just like. The era before they decided to make magazine flimsy stuff. Literally. It was the time where they just said, hey, this thing costs $25 to make at China Factory. I am going to pay that $25 and, host and, and spend so much money so I can make sure this album looks good. Throwing like, where tomatoes. is that now? <laughs> this is me throwing tomatoes at them. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. Like, $1 they- for a Verdici pack? Let's go and make that a bunch for all the albums we've had this year. Terrible. <sighs> Honestly, nothing beats the ones we've talked about now. The best ones is still the canvas. The or canvas. The, or the never gonna dance again like thing. Like I need something sturdy again. I need something that is like that is not gonna that when I open it, I don't have to question my entire existence. And d- I don't know if SM thinks this or if JYP or some some agency think this, but we are trying to keep this for longevity reasons. We're trying to keep this for the ongoing future. We're not Absolutely, trying to just bro. open it for now and then let it rip and then had to buy a new one. We're trying to look for something that like lasts 10, 20, 30 years here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't want it to last that long though because they want us to keep buying stuff i mean it'd be great if they actually restocked everything no literally they they're just <laughs> competent <laughs> all around all around it's okay we're, we're gonna get through this <laughs> there will come a day when there's gonna be like another absolutely perfect album packaged there will come a day just not today. <laughs> Just not today. Think about how press it was the peak. Like it was like the, one of our first comebacks ever as K-pop fans. Do, like, yeah, do you have to think about the fact that that album, that promotion, that that multiple versions of the same MV came out, and we were just like, "Oh, this is normal." Yeah, we weren't, even, we weren't even. We weren't even phased by that. 
but now it's like we were spoiled we were so spoiled those promotions for that album was so good and we will never have that again that we don't realize that we we didn't enjoy what was there in front of us we did it (laughs) dude honestly that and one of one i didn't appreciate one of one in the way i should have like oh, one the, of one. the aesthetic the cassette tapes just everything about that era even though i really really loved it and i fully support it and i was like huge on it i just feel like i didn't give it enough love it was too good i should have, I should have bought that cassette tape while i had the chance it's one no, of my literally. biggest regrets in life literally I've looked at it on Music Plaza. I don't think it's in stock, though. No, it isn't. And it never will. And that upsets me. I was like, I won't use it. So why do I want to buy it? And I just should have said, because it's, it's a cassette the- tape. <laughs> it's about having the rarities. I don't even think it's on Music Plaza. That's sad. Bad Luff also had a cassette tape, by the way. We didn't even buy it either. <laughs> we didn't even we didn't even consider it. It's okay. One one day, bro. One day. I'm just thinking about how Bad Love was so good. Dude, Bad Love was so good. You know what one of my biggest it. regrets is? What? Um, not getting Tell Me What to Do. And I want to be. Those are like two that I like consistently, dude. And want. Oh, I move. I don't have move either. Bro, I want those so bad. Bro, want and move are probably my biggest regrets. But and speaking of want and move, they actually restock want and move all the time on Music Plaza. And I want to be. I just I bought it on the last on the last restock. Well, I can't do it now, but maybe in a couple weeks or something. Because I'm also leaving to France in a couple weeks. So I don't want to use that money. I want to use it for the trip, but like <laughs> birthday money. <laughs> yeah, use it on like, use it like when you have it and stuff. But yeah, yeah I have all the albums you just list right there. And I know sometimes they restock them on Music Plaza like a bunch. 10 ones do though that one is someone you have to like look for because i know i i bought it when it first came out so it's like been a while i'm sick i should have gotten it but i had i had one of one already and i just didn't even think to like get it even though it has like five extra songs on it but tell me what to do though that album is probably the worst album when it comes to like design wise because it's a a a two-sided dual case Sick what? It. I've heard a lot of bad stuff about it. Yeah, it's a tool-sided dual case, and it's like the most great. Like it has two photo books, and it's like great and all, but I hate that when you open it, the photo card comes out every single time, and if you drop it, you will always like have to crack. Like you always like crack, which I haven't, I have not experienced yet. Thank God. Um, and also the CD, if you like twist it a certain way, it doesn't fit in with the photo in front, but. That is the only thing that I don't like about it. It's the multiple things that I don't like the design of it, but the album is good. <laughs> That's I'm horrified by everything I've just heard. <laughs> what the heck? It's a mess. <laughs> Definitely. They could have done so much better. So much better. The one that I really want, though, so anyways, I want to give misconceptions of us. I have not even had the chance to buy it yet. And I really, really want misconceptions of us. Yeah, classic right there. That is the example of great album design. It's perfect. It's really, really, really nice. It's two albums and there's like multiple photo books in it, first off. And then there's like a photo card in it and it's, like, it's the perfect blend of two albums in one. It's a good repackage. Like, it's one of the best repackages I think there ever was a camp history. Like, it's the one of the best repackages. I like that idea of having, like, the repackage, but having, like, the original and then the other one. Oh, yeah. Or, you know what I mean? Like, 
the original designs, I guess. Yeah. Why yeah. don't they do that anymore? Oh no, I don't know. I wish they would. I could say that Never Gonna Dance Again 1 and 2 being in the same album, though, that one is kind of similar. Dude, yeah. I really, really like the overall design for that one. If I ever get the chance to get it, I would. Even though I have 1 and 2, I just, I don't know. It's just, it's so pretty. It's so enticing. It's, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I open it and I'm like, why am I so blessed with the just presence of this beautiful man? <laughs> So good. Like two CDs in one, and you get all those photos, big size, and it's made well. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just need a big restock. I feel like that's one thing that I really, really want. It's a big restock mm-hmm. of all the shiny albums. <laughs> I refuse. To live without the replay album in my collection so they need to do that restock <laughs> effective what immediately if they do it while you're in france i you know what now that you said that tonight like i'm gonna have to find a k-pop store in the area or i will be sending stuff to my house every week <laughs> <laughs> which i know my mom's gonna be like what the heck what are you spending your money on but it's like bro i've been wanting this for like six years and be like, can I just send this home? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have my own Amazon. I do that back in college too, though. I used to do that. My mom would be like, what's the album? And I'd be like, can I just, I, I need to send this home so I don't miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll definitely just have to send them to my house. Or I could just send them to like my roommate or something. <laughs> send them to her house. You could just keep them because then I don't have to transport everything when I move back to school. She'll just have them because she lives like 40 minutes away versus me like four hours. So Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well, I hope you don't have to worry about that. I hope you don't have to worry about the fact that no. I doubt it. I doubt they're gonna restock like a single thing if you're gone. Like no. My only concern is that AT is having a comeback in July. So I was like, <laughs> but I think that the comeback is two days after I come back. So <laughs> If I were to pre-order, which I, I don't know yet, obviously it's two months away um, or three months away. If I were to pre-order, it would come like, I don't know. Oh man, but that's the problem. Cause then the second week of August, I have to move back into school. I, I would have to send it to my school address, I guess. That's so complicated. Why? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get it right on time. Yeah. I, well, again, I guess I could just send it to my roommate and then, yeah. 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 Well, what I've been doing with the ATs ones, like the past two, is I didn't pre-order them. And then I just got them off of this one eBay seller who I found who sells the albums for 10 bucks and then you get to pick your photo cards. So I've done that for the past two. And it's been great. It's been very great. Because <laughs> they keep all the um like they keep the stickers the photo book is in there the cd is there it's like untouched the only thing is like they take all the photo cards out and you get to pick whichever one you want and they actually gave me two photo cards last time for two separate members and i was like bro (laughs) that's amazing i know i hope they never stop selling they only i've only seen them do at stuff so i always know that they're my backup for now That's great. I used to do that for BTS when I was back, like, a humongous fan mm. back in the day. I used to, like, only one gin photo card. Like, only. So, I would, like, pay people. I would, like, tr- I would like trade online with people that I never have ever met in my entire life and be like, hey, That's crazy. You, have J- you have Jimin? You want Jin? And then I'll be like, yeah, I want Jin. And then I'll be like, we would, like, trade across the entire country. Yes. <laughs> yes, is crazy i've sold stuff but i don't think i've ever traded except you and i exchanged the one of one game thingies right was that us no who did i ex- see i've been like it's been boggling me because when i got one of one i got tae min's like game thingy i think it was either him or me mm-hmm. 
and someone I knew had the own new one. They were like, dude, just just switch with me. I was like, no way. But I don't know who it was. Yeah, <laughs> I think you had Minho. I think you yeah. traded with someone who liked Minho, though, because... It must have been my friend Macy, because I know she likes Minho. I think it might have been her. I don't remember. It was like six years ago. I just know that I've had the jinky one ever since, and I don't... <laughs> Every time I look at it, I'm like, dude, I totally forgot about this. Yeah. Great. Super great. All right. I think it's like nine now. Yep. I was just checking my phone. So we're good. But all right. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy your night and stuff. Thank you, too.